Okay, guys, we are going to get started on question number nine, finishing up the last part of the test. So, Lou walked six days this week and recorded the miles that he walked on the line plot. Lou walked four and three eight miles last week. How many more miles did he walk last week than did he walk this week? How many more miles? So we're comparing, right? We're comparing last week to this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to add up these first, and then we're going to have to subtract them. Now, the nice part about this one is they've already changed the bottom denominator shape. So we're good. That was one step that we don't have to do. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to start here in adding. So two eights, and there are two of them. So two eights plus two eights. Then we have three eights plus three eights. We have no four eights. We have one five eight. And then we have one. We could change to eight eight or one. Let's try it with just one. We'll try it something different this time. Okay, so eight's still gonna be my bottom denominator. So let's add my top ones here. I got five, let's start with five. Five, six, seven, eight. Go to the next one. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 1 and 15 eighths. Well, let's change that into the proper fraction before we can subtract. So how many times can 8 go into 15? One time, right? Because if you didn't know, you would have taken 15 and you would have divided it by 8. You would have gone in one time. And when you subtract, you get, that's right, 7 eighths remainder. So you have 1 and 7 eighths. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget, you have to add this one right here, plus 1 equals 2 and 7 eighths. So this week, this week, he walked 2 and 7 eighths. Now, had you forgotten what to do, you would have seen that answer over there, and you're going, oh, I must need to do this. Wrong. You need to make sure that you've done it right. So now we need to subtract. So we're going to take 4 and 3 eighths minus 2 and 7 eighths. Now you notice they're already in eighths, so we have already have an easy, we won't really have to convert that much. But you'll notice that 3 eighths is definitely smaller than 7, correct? So think back to that fraction unit we did with subtraction. Now, what did we do to get to the bigger number on top? We borrowed, right? So four is going to have to become a three. And what does this three over here become? This becomes three and, right? Eight eighths plus three and 11. Or eight and 11, I basically, oh, I keep giving you the answer here. So eight plus three is 11. So now I can subtract 11 minus seven That's 11 minus 7, y'all. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. You have 4 and 8, right? And then you take your whole number and you do 3 minus 2 equals 1. What do you notice about 4 8? Because there's no one over there that says 1 and 4 8. That's right. We have to reduce 4 8. Okay, so we have to reduce 4 8 to being 1 half. So your final answer for this test is one and one eighth. Remember, if you needed to pause me at any time during this video, you had that opportunity to pause me and continue to write. Thank you, don't forget to turn it in.